So the days of needing to code just to build a website, poof, poof, gone. Gone. Welcome to 2025. Now you don't need to know anything except what you want your site to look like. That is the magic of modern no-code website builders. With so many options out there, you want to make sure you're choosing the best one. That's why I'm here to deliver a Wix versus hosting a showdown, including a full breakdown of their strengths, weaknesses, and everything in between. Oh, man. All right, these two are some of the best website builder options on the market. And while they share some similarities, they also bring some major differences. So let's find out which one deserves your clicks and, well, your money. With that in mind, I'll start this brutally honest website builder comparison with pricing. First up, Wix. The good news is that they have a completely free plan. Yeah, you heard that right. You can tinker with the builder, publish a site on a free subdomain, and even start pulling in visitors without spending a dime. Perfect if you need a quick site for a school project or an event. But there is a catch, of course. The free plan is quite limited, and you'll have to deal with Wix branding all over your site. Holy shit, the cat's being cooperative for once, look at that. Now, if you're watching your wallet, hosting it is the clear winner. Not only does it start with a much, much more affordable price, but unlike Wix, where one subscription gets you one site, hosting it lets you create up to 100 websites on a single plan. And when it comes to resources, hosting it goes all out. We're talking 100 gigabytes of SSD storage, even with their most affordable plan, free domain names, automatic weekly backups and domain protection so your personal info stays hidden from spammers. Besides, I've got this discount you can't pass up if you decide to go with Hostinger. To get it, just scan this QR code right here. That's somewhere on the screen right now. I'd point to it, but yeah. <laughs> or do it the old-fashioned way and click the link in the description, which will be under the cat. All right, so... Looking at Wix plans, it gives you 50 gigabytes of storage per site with their core plan, which is pretty solid, but let's not forget the higher pricing. That said, Wix does have one sneaky advantage. No surprise price hikes on renewal. Yeah, all right, the price is higher at first, but what you pay now is what you pay forever. And well, that's pretty rare in the web builder and hosting world. Anyhow, the bottom line is that if you're all about affordable, high value website building and hosting, hosting is just the better option. It's almost unfair how much more you get for the price. Wix is still a solid option. It's just unlucky to get pitted against hosting. While pricing is important, if you don't like the building experience and the final results, does it even matter so let's review the website builders themselves you're likely to start with template selection if you're not opting for their ai builders that is but let me cover templates and numbers first because when it comes to that these two are playing in completely different leagues oh pretty cat wants to be deposited back on the floor hosting it comes with a solid selection of 150 designs vibrant and modern sounds good but Wix obliterates that and almost every other website builder boasting 900 plus templates of which around 800 are free. While that's a massive library, don't get too excited. Some feel a little too similar and a few look like they're stuck in 2015. But with that many options, you're almost guaranteed to find something that fits your niche. That said, I actually prefer Hostinger's approach. Their templates feel more distinctive from one another. The structure isn't super experimental, but everything looks sleek and functional. Wix, on the other hand, plays the opposite game. A bit repetitive in style, but more flexible in structure. Now, here's where things get really interesting. AI-powered design. Both Wix and Hostinger let AI generate a site for you. With Hostinger, Whipping up a website is faster than with Wix. On the other hand, Wix's AI assistant feels a little bit more polished and adapts better to your inputs. But since you can just keep trying till you get what you want, this tiny difference doesn't really matter that much. What does though is the editing once your website is created. Yes, AI creates a website that is already populated with information, but AI can't read your mind. Well, not yet. <laughs> so some editing will be needed. And even with AI to help you, Wix will be more complicated from here on out. It has many more tools than hosting it, but that's not necessarily a good thing. It's a similar story as with templates. Many of those tools are redundant and might only confuse beginners. AI selection is kind of similar though. Wix covers everything from AI-generated text and images to a logo maker, AI-powered chatbots, 
and an advanced image editor and marketing optimization tools. I just have to mention that while hosting an AI website builder is included with all plans to unlock all the AI driven features, you'll need the business plan. So that's what I went for. It includes tools like an AI writer for content generation, an AI image generator and an AI SEO assistant, even an AI heat map that predicts visitor behavior. If you want those tools for your website building, I recommend getting the business plan with my discount from the description. Overall, hosting a website builder wins on quality and AI variety, while Wix dominates in sheer quantity and flexibility. One thing for sure, AI is only going to get better and these builders are racing to make the future of web design. Thank God not everything is about AI yet. Let's compare editors ease of use and usability in general. Now I've already mentioned that Wix will be a little more complex than hosting. So let me show you why exactly. Hosting as editor is refreshingly minimalistic, keeping only the most essential tools front and center while offering buttery smooth drag and drop controls. It's practically tailor made for beginners, making website building feel effortless. Wix on the other hand throws everything at you. It's packed with tools, rulers, guides and layers upon layers of information. If you love having full creative control that's great but let's be honest the Wix editor can feel a little chaotic which is not ideal for beginners. Both platforms allow you to work with individual elements and pre-made sections but this is where hosting feels a bit limited. It gives you 14 core website elements, which is enough to build a solid site, but missing some fun interactive features like detailed pricing tables. Wix is the complete opposite. It has everything from simple shapes and animations. There is no shortage of customization. You can build something sleek and professional, or if you're not careful, end up with a complete mess of a website. And that's the catch. All that creative freedom can lead to unfinished projects. But if you're looking for a true no-code website builder, Wix doesn't hold up against Hostinger, which is simpler, more streamlined, and keeps things more manageable in general. Wix, meanwhile, is the playground for those who want to experiment. It lets you add custom code and tweak deeper technical aspects. If you want to embed videos and keep things straightforward, go with Hostinger. If you want full control and the ability to tweak every single pixel, Wix is the better fit. So who wins? Honestly, in most cases, it will be Hostinger. While it's more limited, it's way more beginner friendly and while still allowing you to create a distinctive professional website. Just don't get me wrong, Wix is not that complex. It's just that we've got to compare it to the king of easy building, Hostinger. If we were to compare it to, let's say, WordPress website builders, trust me, it would be a completely different story. But some of you aren't here to build a cute little blog or a personal portfolio. You mean business. You want a website that actually makes money. So which best website builder is more suited for making that dough and offers better e-commerce capability? Both Wix and Hostinger offer 0% transaction fees, although that can change when using third-party vendors. Hostinger allows you to sell up to 500 physical or digital products. That's not a bad amount, but might still not be enough for some big stores. Anyhow, I'd recommend getting at least the business plan as it includes all the features like email notifications, inventory management, client appointments, and consultations. Now, Wix is much better suited for mid-size and big online stores as you can sell up to 50,000 products. Yeah, that's quite a difference. Anyhow, these e-commerce capabilities are available even with the Wix core plan, but if that's not enough, you can upgrade to business for more e-commerce tools like inventory management, which is more advanced than what hosting it has to offer. It also includes customizable shipping gift cards, physical and digital products, multi-channel selling, 80 plus payment methods, refunds, customer reviews, and more. Yeah, so that's a lot. While hosting might be the best website builder for small business, overall, this is finally a clear win for Wix. If you ask me, it even rivals Shopify, the largest e-commerce platform overall. When it comes down to it, choosing hosting versus Wix depends on your needs. If you're a beginner or running a small to medium sized business, hosting it is the smarter pick. It's budget friendly, fast and easy to use without sacrificing performance. But if you need advanced customization, more flexibility and don't mind spending a little bit extra, Wix is the powerhouse website builder for e-commerce or more complex websites. And that's a wrap on my hosting up versus Wix showdown. If you want the best deal possible, don't forget the discount codes in the description. It's gonna save you some money at the end of the day. And of course, if you found this video helpful, smash that subscribe button. It's the best way to show me some love and keep these comparisons coming. And of course, 
If you want to know anything, just drop a comment below. Let me know what you want me to cover next, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.